Well, I have been a great admirer of uh, Dr. Balaji Tambe. I always looked at him as uh, a thought leader in number of ways, not just as an Ayurvedic physician, but uh, as a spiritual uh, leader, as an enlightened individual uh, who is able to relate seemingly the unrelated and through his deep scholarship he is able to give all of us an insight uh, that one never uh, had imagined existed. This new book uh, uh, which has been aptly titled as The Untold Secrets of Life uh, is a marvel. I think uh, uh, when I went through it, when I was asked to write the preface, I must say it was a great spiritual experience for me, looking through the book. And why do I say that? Because uh, when you read a book, you get entertained, you get enlightened, uh, you get excited. And sometimes there are books which uh, raise you to a very different uh, level of uh, thinking, uh, of an insight which I never experienced before. That's exactly what happened to me. See, I'm a simple scientist. I look at the way uh, things as they are uh, and think analytically uh, with some reductionist uh, thinking that comes naturally to the scientist. But then we have to realize that although we have been looking at the word outside as scientists, there is what is called as a word inside. And one of the great things this book does through a splendid chapter which is devoted uh, to this topic is build the relationship between the two and make the artificial distinction that we all have created actually vanish. I thought that was a terrific insight. I've been a great believer in the traditional wisdom, traditional knowledge that has flown over uh, centuries. And in fact, in my own way, uh, whether it was fighting the uh, battle of uh, wrong pattern by the Amer Americans on the, the wound dealing properties of turmeric, which was ancient knowledge, or uh, creating a traditional knowledge digital library, which contains 30 crore uh, pages today of our ancient wisdom. As a scientist, I myself tried to uh, give respect and preserve and protect and get enlightened by that traditional wisdom and knowledge. And therefore, from Dr. Balaji Tambe's book, when I saw uh, his discourse on, for example, Vedas, uh, the true interpretation of uh, Vedas, uh, the enlightened view that they have of life, uh, how they actually discourage inequality, uh, superstition, uh, thing like animal sacrifices, etc. It was wonderful uh, to uh, sort of uh, experience that. Uh, there is uh, this uh, issue about the deep connect uh, between the spirituality and science also that uh, comes uh, through uh, this uh, book. The style of the book the language that is used, uh, uh, the simplicity with which the concepts are unfolded of the most complex of the issues is truly unbelievable. So what happens is that uh, this book uh, will appeal to several people. It will appeal to deep scholars who want to understand, uh, uh, let's say, uh, the more intricate issues of the inner and outer world, for example, on one hand. And on the other hand, it will appeal to a common man because uh, as he goes through the book, not only uh, will he uh, find that he is discovering for himself some uh, untold truths of life that he had not witnessed ever before, but he will reach a different level of uh, enlightenment. I think we have to thank uh, as a society uh, we have to all express our gratefulness to Dr. Balaji Tambe for such superb gift to the society uh, through this very, very unique book, which I am sure 
will be uh, not only well received by uh, everyone, uh, will be on the bookshelf of uh, uh, majority of uh, those who want to learn new things in the society, but also one day from within India, a strong messaging uh, to the rest of the world as to how advanced was India in terms of its thinking, because this new interpretation is something that will appeal not only to people within India, but across the world who are in search of a truth, who are in search of peace, who are in search of discovering this intricate relationship between the outer world and the inner world. Friends, this book by Dr. Balaji Tambe, Purusha Suktam, The Untold Secrets of Life, I would not say just life, The Untold Secrets of Cosmos and Life, is a profound work indeed, uh, in the sense that uh, the author interprets uh, Purusha Suktam. As you know, Purusha Suktam is first seen in the Rugveda, and also it is seen in all the Vedas. In fact, Veda Vyas himself describes Purusuktam as the quintessence of all the Vedas. So, it is in that sense, it is an extremely important book. Dr. Balaji Tambi has really interpreted it in a very innovative manner. And I, for the first time, I am seeing, which I always felt, I always felt that this whole universe is coming from a computer science background, is, is a, some sort of a great, profound program by itself, a program which is self aware the program that is conscious, uh, program that can explain the creation. You know, all science is trying to explain is the what is, I think what I think the Vedas are asking also the question, um, who am I? That is the first question. I want to understand who am I? I want to understand the nature of the universe which I am perceiving, which I am cognating. I am trying to understand what is the relation of me with the universe. This is the question of science. This is the question of philosophy. This is the question of spirituality. Purusha Suttam, I think, as the author has put before us, tries to explain that in a very, very quintessence way. It's a short nine, uh, ten shlokas in which um, uh, this is explained. What Dr. Balaji Tambe, the, I think the, the genius of Dr. Balaji Tambe has done is that he has interpreted it as a conscious program of the universe on one side. And it's a program of our living, program of our body as well as who is trying to understand that universe. This is this is very remarkable, and this can come only from a genius like Dr. Balaji Tambe. To me, as our ancient rishis were, to me as, as our ancient rishis were, they were of course the great philosophers. They were also the scientists. They were the seers and the sim scientists simultaneously. And that's how we see the coming of. I think that the, they were the drashtas of these mantras and uh, the coming of uh, Purusha Suktam. There is another thing which happens in this book, it is very interesting that uh, when we try to understand or try to read or try to utter the Purusha Suktam, Purusha Sukta, uh, uh, we of course utter the words, those who understand Sanskrit, we can, uh, but we do not understand. If you do not understand the meanings, uh, the meanings are mystical, meanings are somewhat, they are coded, they are for some reason and for a one deep reason they are actually coded in the, in the Vedas. And it's, so, there have been many attempts to, to understand, to interpret, to explain, to enunciate what the Vedas actually say. Here we see a, a modern, a contemporary interpretation of, for the contemporary world, for the contemporary scientific world, contemporary spiritual world, the uh, meaning of Vedas, the quintessence of Vedas coming, coming through in Purusha Sukta, in this book. Dr. Balaji Dambe takes the original suktas in the sense of word by word, interprets as common meanings and then go deep into it and tries to explain it, the whole imagery, the mystical meaning behind the whole thing. In the in today's language, this is this is this is this is very important. This book has done what uh, I was looking for. All along I was looking for that kind of thing. That if the Vedas are the quintessence of all knowledge, they must explain the nature of reality. But they must explain the nature of this cosmos, the creation itself. They must explain my own nature, how do I perceive this universe and what is the purpose of my life. 
this book shows us that. In fact, it shows us that uh, they, they say that Kamadi Sabha, uh, when, when I write a conscious program, when I utter that Kamadi, that program can, as we see in the computers, program can, can perform functions by, by a particular way of using that program, I can change my, transform my functions. This is what the, uh, the author has interpreted. My anatomy, my physiology, my functioning of brain, or this one, the function of the cosmos, its relationships, and how I can actually evolve, how can I change my life, transform my life. Uh, uh, and that was the purpose of the Vedic mantras in this one. Um, I think now, nowhere, I mean, this innovation makes a breakthrough that for the contemporary world, in the sense that for young, young generation, the people who are trying to study science one side, one side, people who have also understand, want to understand the philosophy and what is the ancient knowledge system, and this book expresses very beautifully. You can see it from the from its very cover itself. The, the rendition of that cover explains that what, what, what is inside, which was never done before. I think this is the renaissance which will occur. Why many people say, many, whenever I meet people, people say, I say that this is the century of India, this is the 21st century, the century belongs to India. And when you look at the century, there is one, one wonder which I am seeing often wherever I travel across the world, that amongst all the ancient civilizations which have which are, which are come before us, the Vedic civilization, the Vedic civilization is the only living civilization over thousands of years. We don't know really the, the beginnings and the, over 10,000 years. Why is it such a living civilization? Because it is based on, by the very name suggests the Vedas, based on the knowledge, it's a knowledge-based civilization. And the knowledge-based, what is that knowledge? That knowledge is not just ordinary knowledge. This, this knowledge is trying to understand the supreme secrets of the universe, of the cosmos, my living. And how, how do I attain, I think, the give a supreme meaning to my life. That's what Vedas do. That's what they do. And Purushi Suktam is the essence of that. I think what is the untold secrets is that these secrets have been and not narrated in this form. And, and this is what the genius of uh, Dr. Balaji Thambe, who is not only an Ayurvedic doctor, he is an engineer, he is an architect, he is a farmer on one side, he is a healer, he is a, a Purohit, or he is a, I think, many dimensional person who alone can understand the many dimensions of Vedas. And this is what I see in Spurish Suktam. This is a wonderful book. This makes a new, uh, new grounds for the new generation to look at our Vedas. Mm -hmm.